Look at the Rooms tab. The Rooms tab is really the heart of the extension. This is where you define your breakout rooms. In version 16.2, you can enter a nickname, a code, or a URL. Let's take a look at the normal example, which is what we had in version 16.1 and below. I was only able to handle static URLs. I needed the actual address that for the meet that was being called up. So let's just say that I had three rooms here. So it's room one, room two, and room three. I can just blank everything out, click save, and I'll get brand new meet URLs. There we go. Now, in version 16.2, you can enter nicknames. Now, let's just take a look at uh, how that works. I can enter a nickname right here. I'll just triple click, hi highlight everything. And maybe I'm teaching a class here. I'll just say this is Magic Main. That's my nickname. The second I type in anything, it's going to be interpreted as a nickname unless it's HTTPS uh, colon slash slash. Now, there is one, one, one exception to that, and I'll go over that in a second. So I'm going to say magic one here, magic two, and magic three. I'm going to click save. All right. So you can see this is a huge difference between version 16.1 and below. I don't know what the address is. I only know what the address is <clears throat> at runtime, at execution time. Google will go out there and fetch a brand new meet URL. So I, I you know, went through some processing on my side, so I'm able to communicate with Google and get that information. All right, so here we go. I'm, I'm uh, in the meet, and I will go ahead and take a look here. I'm on WebMagic, and it's number three. I want three, and I will go ahead and I'm just going to run everything because I'm going to go over this section right here in detail later on. I just want to show you that it, everything opens up. Here we go, Magic 1. Magic 2, Magic 3. Okay, and I have this. I'll minimize it. And you know, I can click on things, and away we go. All right, so now let me just uh, shut that down. And I'll call up the extension again. Now let's look at another example of rooms. Um, I'll use a different example here, which is the Google Classroom. Uh, this is actually a requirement for 16.2 on Google Classroom users. I'll you know, triple click, highlight this, and I'll click save. All right, so that for Google Classroom users in version 16.2, you're, you're going to be required to do uh, actually what you always wanted to do anyway. You always wanted to copy this down, this lookup as your main. I understand why you wanted to do that, and now I'm able to handle that because I can resolve I can what that meet URL is at runtime. I wasn't able to do that before, but now I can. I can resolve that. All right, so let's go here, and I want to show you that that does work. Uh, so it's also important to note that it's interpreted as a nickname. Now, remember, I said HTTPS colon slash slash anything is going to be a meet URL. Uh, so let, let's say here, maybe I say HTTPS colon slash slash. All right, all of a sudden it's purple. Uh, but um, uh, this is a special one because it's a lookup, and it's a lookup to a meet uh, uh it's, it's a lookup to a meet right here. And this meet is a 10 character system generated meet. Uh, so let's, let me go back here and I will show you that that does work. Uh, I'll click save. It's important to note, and I've, I put that here as well. It's a very important change for Google Classroom users. This is a required change. I need you to do this so that I can uh, uh, sync everything up. All right. So that's the only change. I try really hard to keep everything backward compatible, but that is the one change on version 16.2. It's only for Google Classroom users. Please just copy this link right here into your main room. Everything else is the same. You, you can use static uh, for the rest. You don't have to use um, uh, uh, nicknames anywhere else. Like There are some users out there, I know some teachers out there, <clears throat> that, that would use this uh, as the main, but then they want the breakouts to be static. That's fine. You can do that. All right. So let me go back to my normal previous example here. I'll say magic two and I'll say magic three and I'll click save and let me just go ahead and run it and I will I'll just you know run everything. Alright so uh, you, you see that you get the pop-up that says that it actually is executing 
uh, calling out the nickname. This is a system generated nickname. I'm sure you've seen this before. All right. Now, uh, I have a long version for this help video. Uh, I don't want to make this one super long, so this is going to be the short version, but I do want to show one thing. I want to show that, let me just move this down here. I want to show that if you, that this actually is the correct URL, all right, that I'm able to resolve the right URL. So to do that, I'll just prove it out right now. I'll call it up in Google Classroom and see what do I get. And I get this, all right. And I'll go to my <clears throat> text editor. Let me just get rid of all this junk down here. All right, so in Google Classroom, it calls up this, right? Now, what did I call up? I called up this, and let's take a look. To me, it looks like they're the same. Yes, they are. The only difference is this question uh, mark uh, auth user. Uh, if you see that on a URL ad address, what that means is this is a parameter that's going to be passed to the website. Now, what is this parameter? It says you're using your uh, primary or default account. All right, so that I'm already doing that here. All right, so that's what that question mark is in case you're curious. So this is the exact same address. All right, so let's just do a recap here on the Rooms tab. On the Rooms tab, you can enter a nickname or a code or a URL. So URLs are what you used all along for 16.0, oh, a 16.1 and below. Let me just quickly do that. So I'll just say uh, room four. The easiest way to use a, a, a URL, a static URL, is just leave it blank. Just leave it blank and the system will create one for you. All right, so then we have uh, room five. And let's say room five is going to be a, a code. Uh, and what is the code? The code is really this 343, all right? So if you want to just pre-plan and create a brand new meet URL, you can. Now, that, that the way to do that is that you execute this transaction code, https colon slash slash meet.google.com slash new. That'll create a brand new one. As long as I'm at it, let me show you another handy uh, transaction code. It's https colon slash slash meet.google.com. And this will be your shortcut. So uh, whatever the shortcut is, that will call it up. But I'm going to focus in on this right now. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to call up one. I want to get a val. I, I want to get a valid uh, code. So this is one that I created for me as a user, and I'm just going to paste that here. All right. So this is what I want to enter here as an example of a code. So I'm going to click on the green button. I'm going to type in room six. Now this is also interesting. Uh, rem uh, Everything's interpreted as a nickname first, unless it falls into either one of these two categories. Now, so let's just say that uh, I'm going to type it by hand. So I'm going to say A Q X dash K Y S N, still a nickname, T C, boom, H. So that matches exactly the 343. If I type in anything less, it's a nickname. Uh, anything more, it's a nickname. All right, so it's exactly that, and then it'll be a nickname. All right, I mean a code, a code, a code. Um, so it's, it has to match exactly that, that to be a code, otherwise it'll be a nickname, unless it's this HTTPS. There is one exception on the HTTPS for the lookup. All right, so it's a little confusing but uh, to explain in words, but it will behave exactly how you want it to behave. In other words, you copy and paste your lookup, from your Google Classroom, you want that to be your nickname because that is a nickname. So that it will be exactly that. You type in a nickname right here. That, that is a nickname. Uh, you want to type in the meet address. It's going to be over there. Uh, you can leave it blank. Remember, that's just the easiest way. Just leave it blank and click Save, and you'll get a brand new one. So let me just save these down. As long as I'm at it, let me show you one other uh, meet URL you could use. Let's just say it's a resource one. I like Pluto, so I want to talk about Pluto. I will just copy that meet uh, that URL here, and this will be considered to be a, a resource URL. I'll just call this uh, Pluto. All right, click. Oops. <laughs> uh, and then I'll uh, tab and click save. All right, there we go. So we got everything, and let me just show you that everything will pull up, uh, and we'll go over here to the meet and. Let me just close everything down. 
I'll close these extra ones down. Uh, Command Control W will close things down very easily for you. You don't have to aim and click on that X. Okay, so it looks like we're in good shape. Everything's closed down. All right, let's go back to the extension. We're ready to go. We have the rooms the way we want it. I'm just going to go in one fell swoop, open up everything. So let's just do that. Uh, well, you know what? I'll open up the, the main room first. All right, so there we go. That's our main room. Okay. That's our Google Classroom. And then I'm going to go over here and I'll just open up the breakouts. So everything seems to be opening up the way we want it. These are our nicknames, Magic 1, Magic 2, Magic 2, Magic 3. And then we got Room 4. These are the statics and then uh, Room 5, 6. And then here's our friend Pluto. Okay, so it looks like we're in great shape. And then we can uh, you know, turn on the microphone. Should be able to, let's see what's going on here. Okay, room, oh, I need to retile re re everything. Okay, so there we go, we retile it. And it looks like we're in great shape. Let's double check. Uh, room one, yes, all the IV controls are working fine. I did get an email from a user and she showed me a video where the microphone was misbehaving, wasn't working right. I have a video on how to uh, kind of wake up the extension. This happens sometimes when the extension gets updated. Not all the modules get updated uh, cleanly at the same time. I'm not saying for sure that's the reason, but I have experienced anomalies and that's usually in the case where the extension is updated and I force it to go through different steps. I create a dummy class, some dummy rooms, and I just make it go through those, the process of opening up the rooms. If that doesn't work for you, there's another option. You may be blocked from this in your, by your system administrator, but if you can do it, it's under um, window and it's under extension. And then, um, well, I'm in the developer mode, so let me just turn that off. You wouldn't, be, you would not be in the developer mode. Then what you do is you just uh, turn this off. Use this slider. You turn it off. Wait a second, and then turn it back on again. That has worked really well for me. Okay, so that's it for this video. It looks like we're in great shape. I, I, what did I? Let's recap what I covered. I covered here how you can create your rooms. All right. It's either a nickname or a code or a URL. I told you how you know they're all resolved, how, how they're all differentiated. If you get stuck, you can click on this help here, or you know you can click right here, import new messages. Uh, I go through the definitions of all these, and I think you should be in good shape. Uh, just look at this. I have a long version of this same help tutorial, and I go through in the long version. I prove out, I prove out that this actually does call up the correct URL because I. I, I show what my extension calls up and I compare that with uh, using these uh, transaction codes provided by Google. What should you get if you called up a nickname? And I prove that you know the, the extension does call up the right one and so on. So I think that's important to go through if you're the curious kind of person and you just want to convince yourself that everything's working fine. Uh, you know, please go ahead and watch the longer video. It's 30 minutes long. Okay, so that's about it. Thanks a lot. And let's move on to the next section.